I was talking about my reason for starting my YouTube channel and my main reason is to leave a legacy for my descendants because I noticed that in my own family that if you didn't live the time that your ancestors did then you probably won't know nothing about them because we don't tell stories about experiences with our elders the way that we used to and so this is my effort to take it up on myself to leave something for my descendants to know who i am what i'm into what i'm thinking about i'm experimenting with life and that's my main purpose of doing this channel originally i started it to be an extension of my business and while that's also important to me is not my number one priority with this channel anymore i don't want to feel like I'm an expert in order to share here on this channel. I plan to share more about what I'm doing and how I'm going through life and what I'm learning and not expertise but just my opinion on certain ideas and concepts. The other reason why I have a YouTube channel is because I am a very logical person. I am a Virgo so I analyze everything I think through everything stuff has to make sense and my creative side can use some work YouTube definitely gives me that outlet of trying to figure out how to create engaging content how to articulate myself when it comes to different ideas and concepts and how to possibly think about things in a different way than I typically would. It also boosts my self-confidence because you have to have a certain level of I don't give a fuck in you in order to put yourself out on the internet because you can feel like people are gonna judge me or I don't want to look stupid but it takes a certain confidence in yourself to be able to still go ahead and share yourself on the internet and not care what other people think and if you have that mentality then you'll be able to go further in my opinion because you won't hold yourself back wondering what other people are going to think those are some of the reasons why I have my channel even though it has been kind of difficult to be consistent and get it up and going i know the big picture is worth it and getting to be consistent on here makes me analyze my own thinking and what's holding me back what else was i talking about I was listening to this song called Healing Is Not My Purpose the other day and it really hit home for me because I am one of the people who is constantly on a self-improvement mission and I'm okay with having goals and wanting to get better at certain things, certain aspects, having a standard for myself. But when does it become problematic? I always feel like a little nag to be doing something to be better like I never listen to I'm not gonna say never I hardly ever listen to non-fiction books because usually I am learning something I'm wanting to get better at something and that makes for little time for play but I'm trying to be able to just be more without having to accomplish something I don't want that to be always the mountain I'm climbing even if I'm climbing the mountain it's like when can I just rest and like be cool like it's always a how do you feel satisfied where you are but then also still want to improve something else i've been thinking about lately is making the mundane magical so i've been trying to keep myself on task 
but I'm finding that while I am getting things checked off off of my list, it just feels like my day is tasked, like one thing after another. I feel like if I slow down and really connect with what I'm doing instead of just doing it as something to check off my list, my day would feel more meaningful. And one of the ways I'm thinking about doing that is setting intentions for what I'm doing, showing gratitude for what I'm doing, knowing why I'm doing it, like wholeheartedly knowing why. Like if I wash the dishes, I know why I'm washing the dishes because I want to have clean dishes, but being grateful for having a family to feed nutritious food and keeping my space beautiful and clean and really acknowledging the deeper side of my household chores and work in general, then I can make the mundane magical. Even if I have to maybe set the scene, light candles or incense or play music or whatever it is is going to make it feel more connected and meaningful and not just me doing something to have it done. I just want to have a little chit chat about what I've been thinking about. I would love to hear what's been going on with you lately in the comments. And I hope to see you in the next one. Anyway, so... This right here.